Hi, Gemini. My air sign, Geminis. Thank you guys for coming back to the channel. If you have subscribed, gang, gang, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome to Brooklyn Nights 1111 Tarot. Don't forget to do me a favor. Hit the big red subscribe button and don't forget to hit the all notification ring and ding and ding bell so you won't miss out on any of the videos that I upload. And you'll always be notified. Alright? Make sure you hit that like button. Smash that like button. Bang that like button. Okay? Nah, just tap the like button. Just give me a big thumbs up, okay? And um, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, it's only $50. Get your reading while it lasts. It's only for June, so it, it it's not going to last long, okay? At the end of June, um, it's over. The price is going back to regular prices, okay? You can uh, hit me up on my email. You can catch me on my email. Send me a message to my email. Whatever kind of message you're looking for, whatever answers you need clarity to. I have a lot of cards to answer, yes or no questions, okay? Send me um, your email to let me know if you would be interested in a personal reading or not. It's only $50. Donate to the channel. Donate. Feel free to donate to the channel. My cash app is in the description box down below underneath the video. Let's get into your reading. Gemini. For the next 24 hours. Between the 19th and the 20th. Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Spirit, Guides, Angels, Ancestors, Universal Energies. Being Gemini's energy and for reading. And bring them clear, honest messages as I go into the tarot. For the next 24 hours. Hmm. So, um, Gemini, I see someone is guarded. This may be you or someone you're dealing with. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. I do feel like someone guards is up, someone's walls is up. I do feel like someone has trust issues. They're not very trusting of people or of situations. But I do feel like you're in this energy where you're not giving up. I do feel like you've been wounded. You've been hurt a lot. And that's why your guard is up and your walls is up. Um... I do feel like some of you are taking a break, resting, recuperate, recuperating, rejuvenating, getting your mind together. I feel like you're chilling, all right? I do feel like um, for some of y'all, you are thinking about something, you're meditating on it or praying about something. But I see you just taking a break, relaxing or wanting to take a vacation. I feel like you're going to be very, very happy. Um, you're going to have a lot of fun um, and a lot of exuberant energy, but I feel like something is making you happy or someone is making you happy. So I feel like some of you are taking a break, going on vacation, and it's, it's you're having a lot of fun. You're very happy. I feel like for some of you, um, you could have been... You could be guarded up or, you know, your walls is up, your guards is up because you're taking a break from someone and this is someone who made you very happy. Okay? This person wants a new beginning with you. Alright? This person has an offer on the table for, um, to make things more stable, solid, or committed. I do feel like this is an invite out for dinner and a movie, possibly, for some of you. But I do feel like this has something to do with a large lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a bonus, a promotion, a new home, or a new car. Yes, yeah, something is happening very quickly. Something is coming in very quickly. It's some form of communication. Or this new beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles is happening very quickly for you guys, okay? And I feel like there's a shift. Um, there's a quick, sh a, a, a quick shift in your energy. Alright, I do feel like for some of y'all, there's a new beginning happening here with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And you're communicating with them online, back and forth, over the airwaves. You're not playing no games, okay? You're standing firm in whatever decisions that you're making, okay? I feel like a lot of you stand in your truth, 
okay? You're, you're sitting, you're standing in your truth. You're standing up for what's right. You're speaking your truth to this person or this person is speaking their truth to you. Okay, you could be dealing with the Libra or uh, Aquarius or fellow Gemini. There is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and the air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So your walls is up, your guards is up, but you're not giving up. You're wounded, you're tired of things, you know, of someone um, coming into your energy and, and, and wounding you all over again. But I do feel like this guard is up. This could be stuff that happened in your past. And you're guarded up, your walls is up. You're not very trusting of people. So for some of you, you have trust issues. And I do feel like you're trying to take a break from this and break free from this. I do feel like you're preying on this. Or you are, for some of y'all, y'all are needing to take a vacation. You want to take a break, okay? You want to go out and have fun and do something exciting and adventurous. And I feel like you're going to do that. There's an offer on the table here, okay? For some of y'all, it's an uh, invite out for dinner and a movie. Um... You could be taking a break to go out and have some fun and go out with someone on on a on a date. Okay, and I feel like you've been communicating with this person online and this person is speaking their truth to you. However, for a lot of you, you're taking a break from someone who's made you very happy. But there's a new offer on the table. This person wants a new beginning with you. Okay, they want to th make things more stable, solid, and committed with you. Okay, and I see this happening very quickly here. And I do see this person um, communicating with you. They want to speak to you. Okay. Um, they want to speak to you. And I feel like communication is going to be coming in very quickly. And they're going to be speaking some truth to you. Alright. Or you're speaking your truth to this person. Take it how it resonates. You can switch the roles if need be. It could be vice versa. Okay. If it doesn't fit, don't make it what? Stick. Yes. So if it doesn't fit to your story, don't make it stick to your story. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Let's cut the deck. This is for the next 24 hours. Summer rising, Venus, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, universal energies. Why is the ace of pentacles here? Thank you. Hmm. Someone wants a new beginning with you, I feel like. This person, uh, Earth sign, towards Virgo Capricorn. They want a new beginning with you. They want to make something more tangible. They want to give you a solid offer. They want to make things more stable, more solid with you. More committed. But I feel like you're closed off to that. You're blocked off. For some of y'all, this person may have blocked you. Or you blocked them. But I see like you're refusing to see this or you don't see this coming. I feel like you don't see this coming at all. But I do feel like you're refusing to acknowledge some things or refusing to see some things. There may be a lack of information or some blocked communication. But I really feel as though this person wants a new beginning with you. And you're indecisive as to, as, as to what to do about this. You're not sure. You're closed off and you're blocked off. Or this person is. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But they want to speak to you. Okay. They want to propose to you for some of y'all. But they want happiness and joy and peace with you. Alright. They may be. um. This person may be a twin flame. Okay. I'm seeing the numbers 11 and 11. So they're trying to manifest something with you. For some of y'all, something is happening very quickly. You could be speaking to someone online about having like a birthday party, a baby shower, a get together, or some type of event or an announcement. Is um, you're online making an announcement? For some of y'all, why is the Eight of Wands here? Clarify the Eight of Wands for Gemini. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, this could be uh, for some of y'all. This is your spouse it could be a wife or somebody you see as a wife okay this may be someone you work with or do business with you may have children with this person so some of y'all this may be someone you um live together with share resources and property with so this person they want to communicate with you they could be sending you a message over the airwaves face to face phone call text message email they send you some type of communication 
They want to speak to you. And they want to nurture the situation with you. All right. They want to focus on you. They want to focus on this new beginning with you. But I do feel like for some of y'all, something is happening very quickly here. There's a quick shift in your energy where you're focused on yourself. You're focused on your money. You're focused on your home, your family, your kids. You're focused on like, you know, the bills being straight, everybody being good in the house. You're focused on that. For some of you, you are um, working parents. But I do feel like you want to be This person wants to communicate about how they want to make things more stable with you. That they want to be more committal. And they want to be more um, loyal to you. Because I feel like, yeah, this person is coming in quickly. This could be a spouse or a wife or somebody you live together with. Share resources, property with or someone you work with or do business with. Yeah, there's communication coming in back and forth over the airwaves. And I feel like this person wants to nurture this situation. They want to nurture this relationship with you. Alright, I had to meditate on it. And I'm getting like... Eh, like a dry... Like like a dry energy. Like, eh, You know. But I do feel like they're sending you a message. This may be some good news or a message coming towards you. For some of y'all, I feel like they're building up the confidence and the courage to send out a message. For some of you, you made a discovery. For some of y'all, you were looking in someone's phone, all right, and discovered some passionate messages in the phone. All right. For some of y'all, they could have been communi communicating with somebody they work with or do business with over the airwaves, all right, and you, you discovered this in their phone. For some of y'all... So, now you're sitting here with the cold shoulder, keep giving them the cold shoulder, demanding truth and clarity from this person, wanting to know the truth, wanting to know what the hell is going on. Why is the King of Swords here? Give me three cards for the King of Swords, for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Mars, and Venus for the next 24 hours. Thank you. This may be like a um, a broken home or a broken marriage that happened. For some of y'all, you are married to this person. And it's like a broken marriage. Okay, a broken home. Someone could be losing money. Hmm. I don't want... I, I, I. I feel like you're giving this person the cold shoulder and there's a broken home. There's a broken dynamic here. There may be children involved. Family. Home and family. For some of you, you're demanding truth and clarity and this person cannot come back and move in with you again. Because you two are already living together. But that's in reverse. It's a broken marriage or a broken home. Maybe the father or the mother is not there anymore. But I don't... It, maybe energetically. Someone could be losing money. This may be someone that you are married to. Like I said before. Um, I feel like... You're dealing with a Taurus. You could be very spiritual or very religious. But you believe in the traditional dynamics of home and family and marriage. But I do see, um, for some of you, you're, you're, you're getting advice or you're, you're wanting advice about this. For some of you, you have a um, spiritual connection with this person. All right? And for some of y'all, you're demanding truth and clarity from this person. Because, you know, this is a broken home. This is a broken dynamic. And... They're going to confess something to you. They're going to come in and confess something to you. Alright. And I feel like they're conflicted within about this. 
This may be like fussing and fighting and arguing between you and them. There could be a lot of people involved. For some of y'all, there's some people involved in like a church. Some people y'all go to church with. For some of you, um, you're wanting to get advice about the situation because you're conflicted within about this. It's like you love this person, but you don't know how to feel about them at the moment. You don't know where to put your emotions. You don't know how to feel about this person. But I feel like you want to open up to this person or they want to open up to you and express their love to you, okay? This person loves you. Someone here loves you. But someone is conflicted within about some things and they're using their intuition. They're using, it, they're using their intuition to take control of the situation here. I feel like you could be dealing with an older man or you are the older man. I feel like you're retired from a company or you just wanted to take control of your life again. Take that power back in your life. I feel like you're bossing up and you're taking control of the situation. This person may want a passionate new beginning with you. They want to have sex with you. But I do feel like you guys are in a position of authority. And you're getting ready to start something that you're very passionate about. It's not set in stone yet. But I do see you have a lot of potential for growth here. A lot of potential. You're bossing up and you're starting something. You're getting very creative. Could be starting something online. I'm hearing online gaming. I don't know why I'm hearing that. But I, I see you being patient with yourself. This person may want to come in and compromise things with you. But I see you healing from the situation and bringing some type of balance in. For some of y'all, this person wants to take control of the situation. And they want to use the male phallic to be intimate. I feel like there's some sexual healing going on right now. Okay. But I feel like you're finding that balance. Alright. Because I feel like this person may have been one foot in and one foot out, but they want to compromise with you. Or they want to use the male phallic to be intimate with you, but they want you to be patient with them. Somebody wants you to be patient, and I feel like you're not going for that. Nope. Not at all. You're walking away from the situation. You're walking away from it. To go to, towards your wish. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You wish for something. You are very hopeful and have faith that this will work. And I feel like your wishes are coming true here. Once you walk away, your wishes are coming true. I see major healing. This person, you know, you walked away and they're having hope and faith that they could heal things, mend things, and work things out with you. But I see you pushing this person away. Or this, push, this person... Maybe pushing you away with the seven of wands. I do feel like there could be some rumors or gossip going on at this time. I do feel like you're standing your ground. You said what you meant and you meant what you said. And you're not budging. Alright. You're not compromising. You're not waiting. You're not doing none of that. Okay. And with the eight of wands again. Nine of wands. This is nine of wands. Yeah. Nine of wands. You're... Your guards is up and your walls is up. This person has wounded you and you don't trust the situation. You really don't trust it. Okay? And I feel like you don't trust them. You're looking at them from the side, from the corner of your eye. Yeah. But I feel like they want to come and apologize to you. And they want to, you know reconcile with you they have a hope and faith that you guys can heal things mend things work things out because this person may have lied to you they may have been cheating on you being deceptive here um stealing you know just that's confirmation for y'all stealing lying being deceptive cheating you know trying to get away with something here but i feel like your wishes are coming true and you're very, you're healing. You're going through a lot of healing. And I feel like you're trying to be strategic. 
Because you want to take this leap of faith into a new direction. You want to take a leap of faith and step into the unknown. But I feel like this person wants you to take a leap of faith with them. But I feel like, you know, someone is waiting. This person could be waiting on you or you're waiting on them. They want you to communicate with them. They want you to bring them clarity. Bring them some type of truth. They want to reconcile with you. And they want you to take that leap of faith with them. But like I said, with the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Swords, I don't know if you're going to do that. You're indecisive about this new beginning with this person. Mm -hmm. Well, this concludes your reading. I hope it resonated for you. I like this reading, and I hope you did too, okay? Don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button. And don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Just hit the like button, okay? Hit the like button. Don't forget. And don't forget to hit the all notification ring and the ding bell so you won't miss out any of the videos that I upload for you guys. And you'll always be notified. And again, if you want that personal reading, my email is in the description box down below on the video. Donate to the channel. Feel free to donate to the channel, okay? Thank you guys so much for the ones who have donated to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Much love shown, okay? And like I always say... If nobody has told you they love you today, Gemini, I'm telling you that I love you. I love you guys so much. Okay, make sure you donate to the channel no matter how much it is. It could be big or small. Bring your energies in so I can channel your energies and bring them into the spread. Alright, and until next time, bye Gemini.